Hi guys, want to do an update on my tank. I'm hopefully going to start doing this once a month now. Um, first thing is corals. I've got a new addition. It's a torch coral. Got it from a local fish shop. Really nice coral at the moment. Come with three heads. They've all opened up lovely. It's all got their colour back, which is nice. When I first bought it, it was, it was quite pink. There was no tinge to it. Um, I don't think you can see very well on the camera, but it has got a really good green tinge and the tips are looking really healthy. So yeah, bang and buy that was for 20 quid. Happy. Down here are some candy canes. Only three little heads on a frag I bought. Which hopefully is going to start growing some new heads soon because they've been in there two weeks now and they've only just and just opened up. So fingers crossed I've got them in the right place. I've been told they need to be near the bottom. So yeah, fingers crossed. Next to this is a frag of an orange sponge fan, which I've been told to keep in the shade, which it is, um, and hopefully that's going to start to grow. That's only been in there for about two weeks. And above it is a, I think it's called a pussy coral, I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, when I bought this, it was only a couple of inches big, and now, well, it's massive now. It it's, loves its conditions, loves the place where it is. So, yeah, really happy with that. That's going well. Um, and basically, I've got a new, I've done a new project with Sump for the first time. I used to use a canister, and then I went to a wet and dry trickle filter. And everywhere you hear and speak to everyone, everyone says, like, a Sump or a refugium. So I've made a really basic one. Let's have a quick look. Which was my first ever attempt. Um, and it's actually worked, which is really handy. I'm um, in the first section here, the water comes down through the blue tube at the back into this first section which is the V2400 protein skimmer which is a nice protein skimmer for this system, it works really really well, really well. Um, and obviously go straight next into the bubble trap which I'm chuffed because like I said this is the first time I've done it and yeah it works. So go through the bubble trap here, soften all the bubbles going back up, a few micro bubbles goes into the refugium. The refugium's only had the algae in it for uh, two days now, so it's a very, very new system set up for the sump anyway. Um, so fingers crossed that's going to pick up really quickly and start growing everywhere. I've got a lot of live rock rubble in there. Um, there's already, I've already had a few little critters found, uh, uh, crabs um, and little starfish in there already, which is good. So moves on to the next bubble trap, which is behind a bit of timber, I'm afraid, into the last section, which has got a big black bag of carbon in there which the water's flowing through and next to that is the return pump which goes back up through this blue tube in back into the main spray tank through that overflow box and next to it with the little trumpet shape that is the return bit so yeah very happy with it all um, it's actually worked so far no leaks very very happy again um, so what I want to do is start doing some new videos once a month because if as you can see on my main display there's a lot of open rock work which means a lot of corals can go into it um, which I've started off with softies like this coral garden in front which is covered in star polyps and cabbage corals and giant polyps and blah 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 <laughs> really softies um, oh yeah and down here it's a really tough with if you can see it there's a green mushroom and there's a snail right above it Really happy with that because there's three little mushroom heads growing on either side of it, so that is going really, really well. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. I'll do some videos once a month, and uh, yeah, cheers.